For the house assignment, what you're going to do is you're going to build a static house. Now on this house, you're going to have a background, which is going to be a blue sky. You're going to have grass. You're going to have a yellow sun, two white clouds. And clouds are just created by creating overlapping ovals. So you have white ovals with no stroke on them. And you just keep overlapping them, and it starts to look like clouds. Two-story house, you can choose the color. The house will have two windows upstairs, two windows downstairs. The house will have the pane lines the window pane lines on them have a door with a doorknob and will have a triangular roof and a chimney uh, and each bullet point will be on its own layer so the, the last thing is a structural kind of thing and then here's the grading scale that goes with it the background the house itself and then uh, the layers so here is a completed assignment so this is the kind of house we're going to draw it's the kind of house back when you were in kindergarten and your kindergarten teacher said draw a house and so you draw a house and it's a two-story house with two windows upstairs two downstairs a door in the middle with a doorknob a sidewalk some green grass see here are the clouds and these are just created with overlapping ovals a single circle for the sun you have the chimney, and this is a rectangle which is stuck behind the triangle of the roof. So that is how, uh, what you're going to do for this assignment. And also notice the cross panes, and this is just done with a line tool. All right, so let's talk about a couple of things. So I can either use the rectangle tool, the triangle tool, I can use the polygon, the poly star tool. Now, if I click and drag, it creates whatever my default shape is. If I want something other than the default, then I go to properties, I go to the tool settings options, and I can set the number of sides. Like maybe I want three sides because it's going to be a roof. So I click OK, and now I'm drawing a triangle. And then obviously I want the roof kind of set this way. So then there's my roof, and then I would go back and change the color and so forth. Uh, the other thing that I could do is I could use my paintbrush or my pencil or even line tool. I could use a line tool. Oops. I could use my line tool. And use my paint bucket. And dump color. Um, if an interesting thing about Flash, about Animate, is if I have a closed figure and I try to paint bucket, it will not dump. So be careful if you're going to try to do something like this. Make sure that you're closing the object down so that it will fill. You can overfill, uh, you can overdraw and then come back and erase the lines if you want. That's up to you. However it is you choose, choose to do it. You can also do it with the paintbrush and then come back and dump the paint. Any of these methods work. So that's how you create the objects. So the objects are done, th this whole thing was done with just rectangles, uh, triangles, line tools, and ovals. So that's the assignment. Um, we're not going to animate anything on this. All we're doing is just drawing the house. That's it.